Justice declared war on public enemies. Outlaws like Dillinger falling before the guns of G-Men. Proof that crime does not pay. The time is the early 30s. And the system wasn't working. Banks had no money. The factories were closing down. The farmers were being put off their land. In their rage, they tried to find ways to strike back, and they were helpless. And they started to create folk heroes. And the folk heroes were rather ugly. We come to rob your little bank, folks. Dave Barrett found that the victims of the predators were people like himself, like his family. In the end, they were the ones who died. In the end, they were the ones who paid the price. What was it, Dad? That courage? A thousand dollars reward. Hey, you crazy! You crazy! Her name was Susan. She was mother of two kids. She's dead. Paul, her husband. He may die yet. This is Wilcox Barnes. He's lucky. All he lost was some money. See those people? They were near killed. You still don't want to know my reason for doing it, mister. Dave Barrett represents the side of law and order and trying to uh, deal with the realities of those criminal heroes and tracks them down one at a time. He's well equipped for it. He knows how to handle weapons. He has the instincts of a hunter. You're going after them, then? Hunting is something you taught me, Pa. Learn the habits of the animal, read the signs, track, chase, set traps, and deal with it whatever way you have to to bring it down. He's a man of few words, a man of the country who, and a man of action. That also fits the way he detects criminals and the way he tracks them down and the way he pursues his, his own job. There were very few people who were who weren't intimidated by the gangsters of the 30s. That's why he takes a job. I guess what he is is a hero. The Manhunters. <laughs>